Over the last few months we've been doing some work on what we've called the Path of Renewal, a programme for churches to begin to think through and to work through what they need to do to be relevant in society today. At the conferences in August and September, delegates from your congregation will be able to come back with information about what was shared there about the missional challenge of a changing culture. That understanding that things have very much changed around us and that we live now in a secular culture rather than a Christian culture. A place where the church is now on the fringe rather than at the centre and where we're having to work through what that means for us. What does church look like when it's on the fringe? One of the things we do know is that sitting back expecting people to come is not an option or at least not a realistic option. Instead, we need to go out to move beyond our comfort zones and to reshape what we do. Alan Roxborough and Scott Boren in their book Introducing the Missional Church say we face a radically new challenge that requires more than minor readjustments. We need a new imagination for being the church. We're putting together a programme for renewal and what that looks like, there will be three teaching blocks each year with three months off, two months in the summer and the month of December. In the first year, we'll be looking at missional theology and leadership, principles for managing change, how we move from maintenance to mission, and then training and mentoring missional leaders, how we do that locally so that we're building leadership in local churches. In year two, we'll move on and look at community development and using a partnership approach, then spiritual formation, creating a discipleship process, and then finally, looking at creating effective local structures. Changing the structures comes last and not first, and that's the reason for us looking at it in that order. Each three-month block will have two or three days of teaching for the minister at the start. They'll then come back and share that with folk locally, and there'll be time to work that out on the ground. Mentoring and coaching is an integral part of the process. It's important that there's support right through the process. So that will be available for the minister. And there will also be trained facilitators who are available to the leadership team and the congregation. Alongside that, we know that space will be needed for this. And so we will be providing staffing Either allocate funds so that you can pay a pastoral assistant or an admin assistant or facilities manager two days or one day a week in order to free up the minister. Or if instead you would rather save that, you could allocate funds later on in the process to appoint someone from your congregation to take some of the new work forward. That, that choice will be yours and we will engage with you in thinking about that. Perhaps one of the important things to say is that this is not about changing everything at once. We do want to create a small team in each congregation to take new developments forward. Many of you will simply be continuing to keep going what is already there, and that's important. But we do want that small team committed to developing a missional approach, doing some new work, but supported, encouraged and resourced by the Kirk Session and others in the church. This period is really a period of reflection, a time for you to think through whether this is right for you, and for us to think through who we bring into this process, there will only be 20 congregations that come in. October will be a month for you to think through things on your own, although there will be somebody on the end of the phone to answer your questions. In November, two members of the steering group will visit. They will discuss with you the process and your potential involvement. And then in December, we'll make a decision on the 20 congregations who will enter into the pilot process. In January, it will all kick off with the first set of training conferences. Liz and I look forward to you, along with the rest of the team, to speaking with you and sharing with you in this over the months ahead and working things out as we seek to discern God's path as we take things forward. <laughs>